Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are going to be checking out the brand new Power Stars line from the folks over at Boss Fight Studios. Yes, the retro revolution really is here. So many retro inspired toy lines out there, uh, but this one really, really caught my attention right away just because of what it is inspired by. And if you can't tell just by looking at these figures and seeing these card backs, this brand new line is of course inspired by the amazing DC Superpowers toy line um, from back in the 80s. But this particular line is going to focus on not non-DC, non-Marvel style comic characters. Uh, in this particular first wave, all characters from King Features. So we've got several characters from Flash Gordon, including Flash Gordon himself. We've got Thun. We've got Ming the Merciless. And then outside of Flash Gordon, we've also got the Phantom. Pretty excited to dive in and check these out, so let's do that right now. And we do have to start by taking a look at the amazing blister card packages. Now, it's very, very clear that these are absolutely inspired by that original Super Powers toy line, including in the packaging. The colors, the placement of the artwork, the overall style of the card backs, they look gorgeous. They're bright and colorful, they stand out, and they do look like they are an absolute homage to those classic toy lines that we all love. Uh, the card backs feel nice and good and thick and strong and sturdy. And of course, nice blister bubbles there that fully showcase the action figures within the packaging. So now we gotta get these guys out of these amazing boxes because we gotta get a closer look at the figures themselves. So getting these guys outside of the packaging, they do stand right around the five inch mark. So they do stand probably a tad taller than your actual vintage superpowers figures, but the overall styling is absolutely there. You can tell that uh, the guys over at Boss Fight looked at that original superpowers toy line, and that is definitely where they got the inspiration for these new sculpts, these new body designs here. Now, these do not feature action features, right? Right? Because the original Superpowers line was filled with action features where they did different gimmicks. So no action features here. But honestly, that's probably a plus for most people who just want a nice standard action figure standing on their shelves. And these are nicely articulated, even slightly improving upon the articulation from the vintage toy lines. For example, the heads are now on a ball joint. So that will allow for a little bit of extra movement, plus the heads are removable. Uh, that's because in the case of figures like Flash Gordon, you do have an interchangeable head included. He's the only one in this first wave that has a swappable head, but now you've got the option to pose him with or without his little helmet piece. So ball joints on all of the heads there. Otherwise, the arms are just going to move forwards and backwards at the shoulders with no other articulation in the elbows or the wrists, nothing in the torso or the waist, but the legs will move forwards and backwards at the thighs, and then the knee joints will bend, and there's also a swivel at the knee, another place where these are a bit of an improvement over that of the original Superpowers line, but nothing else in the rest of the legs. So the articulation, a little bit better than what you had for Superpowers, uh, but basically exactly what you would expect. And I will say that each of these figures feels incredibly sturdy. They feel nice and solid. There's some good weight to them. They all balance gorgeously, so you don't have to worry about any of them falling over or anything like that. One thing I'm really impressed with is the overall style of these figures. Uh, looking at the way that the legs are standing and, and just the overall stances of the figures, the position of the arms with the slightly bent elbows and the hands uh, ready to hold onto the accessories, they really do invoke that uh, original superpowers feeling. And it's... You know, we can't not do this comparison, but with McFarlane Toys doing modern superpowers figures, I honestly feel like these new Power Stars figures from Boss Fight do a better job of capturing the stance and the overall proportions and body type of the vintage superpowers toy line. 
Now let's look at each of these figures individually so you can see what each of them come with. I'm going to start with the Phantom. I think he's my personal favorite in the group, but the overall figure looks fantastic. Love the deep purple colors. All the paint deco is nice and clean on these guys, which is fantastic. And then Phantom here does come with two pistols. Uh, these can be held in his hands and he even is molded with little trigger fingers that look like they are positioned correctly on the pistols when he's holding them in his hands. Of course, he's also got holster at his sides so you can put the guns in the holsters as well which is a really nice touch and of course he's got the molded on phantom rings on both hands there all in all really love this one definitely feels like he fits right in with your retro five inch superhero collection Next up, we're going to take a look at Flash Gordon. Uh, as I already mentioned, he does include the interchangeable heads, which is a really nice touch. I also love the overall face sculpt and everything on this. I think the details look really nice. The paint deco is really good. Nice bright red shirt. Great sculpted details there. And again, two accessories. One is a futuristic looking pistol there, uh, which can be held in either one of his hands or holstered on his right hip. And then he's also got a uh, sword sheath on the left tip there so he can also hold the sword in his hands or you can have that hanging off of his belt and that's going to bring us over to Thun. Now, Thun is the bigger figure in this particular wave here. He uh, stands over the five-inch mark, but he definitely looks like he towers over the rest of the guys. He's got the bigger uh, torso there. Uh, huge sculpt with the hair and the beard. Also worth noting that he does have a tail on the backside that does uh, is actually attached to the figure as coming through the little loincloth piece. It does not appear to be articulated, so the tail itself does not swivel. It is glued in place on the figure uh, but otherwise this guy is bigger and really just does have this massive feel to him plus he does include his own weapon which he doesn't have his own holster for like the other guys but he does hold on to it nicely and lastly, that's going to bring us to Ming the Merciless, who is just a fantastic looking figure. First of all, I've got to compliment Boss Fight on the soft goods cape on this particular figure. This cape feels just like what you remember from the original Super Powers line. It works just the same, where it's got a little plastic ring that will clip around the figure's neck, and then the material that it's made out of feels a lot like the Vintage Super Powers line. Again, another huge plus over the modern Super Powers action figure figures uh, where the capes are just not that great. They're my least favorite thing on those figures. So the cape on Ming here is really, really well done. He's also got this really interesting collar around his neck, uh, which is like a loose separate piece. So the cape is supposed to plug underneath that, but that collar might swivel around on his neck just a little bit there. Otherwise, just like Flash Gordon, he's also got a nice futuristic pistol and a sword, both molded in a gold plastic, and those can also be holstered at his side. All right, guys, it's comparison time because I keep talking about the original Super Powers toy line. So I wanted to make sure I get some shots in here of these brand new figures standing alongside those original Super Powers figures just so you can see how they fit in. Like I said, I feel like they've got a good retro feel to them, but I feel like the sculpting still feels very modern and really, really nice. So in that aspect, they might still look a little bit more modern, but the overall feel of these is still very much retro. And we've talked about the McFarlane ones. And like I said, you can't avoid the comparisons since these are on store shelves right now. So just to show these alongside those modern versions, uh, just so you can see how these measure up. And there you go, my friends. That is a look at the brand new Power Stars line from the folks over at Boss Fight Studio. I love these. Uh, but I personally am a big fan of that 5-inch superhero aesthetic. I love the Super Powers line from the 80s. Uh, and it's really cool that that particular style is the one we're starting to see mimicked with some modern toys now. I'm a big fan of building out these vintage toy lines with like new figures and I really do think that these figures from Boss Fight fits a nice little uh, niche right there. Now I know some of these characters are a little bit more obscure uh, but they are still a lot of fun and I definitely think folks are really going to enjoy these. I want to give a very special thanks to the folks over at Boss Fight for providing these a little early so we can get a good look at them outside of the packaging. These should be shipping right now, and if you haven't yet, they are still available to pre-order online at places like BigBadToyStore.com. So, happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.